Hello, my name is Mark Hodson. I grew up in Ponca City, Oklahoma, and have been around sheep all my life. I started shearing sheep when I was about 14 years old and have been shearing them for close to 20 plus years now. When you put the animal down, just twist the neck, it doesn't hurt it. And you're going to set it on its bottom first. I'm using my toes and knees to keep the lamb in position right here. I always start with the inner legs. You'll make one full stroke here, one full stroke right beneath it. This is what opens up the fleece, the body, to be able to shear. If this particular lamb had a longer growth of wool on it when I was done, the wool would come off like a big coat or one big piece. And that's what they call fleece. Shearing the belly right now, take about six strokes. Now I'll turn and I'll put my left leg behind this front shoulder and my left toes going under this hip to keep him from fighting. Some questions I get is does it hurt the animal? Um, you'll notice when I'm shearing it, it, I use my feet and legs to hold it in place and that, that keeps the animal from fighting me and resisting what I'm doing. Also the different positions I roll it in help keep the skin tight to keep you from cutting it. However, you can still easily cut one and if you do it's equivalent to a shaving cut when a man's shaving his face. You'll notice this particular lamb has some black spots on it. That's a, it's just part of its wool, it's black fiber. There are many different uh, uses for the animal. You have meat sheep, you have wool breed sheep, However, all, all breeds of sheep have wool. The wool can be used for different things, such as the lanolin in the wool. It's extracted from the wool after the sheep has been sheared and is used in hand lotions. Shear right up through the breast and through the neck. Open up the face and the ear. You share the wool cap off the top of its head. One more stroke there. Also wool is fire retardant, it, which means it doesn't burn very easily. It's used in a lot of your firefighters equipment. And then all, wool is also used for the particular type of sheep we're shearing today is more of a meat breed sheep, but the wool off it might be used in socks, hats, carpets, um, where a wool breed sheep grows a longer fleece every year. It's going to be used in your finer garments such as slacks, blouses, dress coats, and things of that nature. I don't want to shear any further down. That skin's all wrinkled right there. It'll cut it. Now I'm going to lay on its side. Make about six long strokes right here. I'm going to shear at least one stroke on the other side of its backbone, which is about right there. Finish the other side of its head. Don't want to cut that ear tag. That's how we identify them. This method of shearing was developed many, many years ago and it's still what science has found works best today. They've tried to use, uh, make a machine that will actually hold the sheep and shear it, but they found it too stressful on the animal. Shear the other shoulder out and leg.
I gotta get my other foot underneath its hip so it can't kick. Pressing down right here to keep that shoulder tight, the skin tight. And we'll shear right to its hip. They also developed a medicine, if you will, that you can give the sheep and will make the wool fall out. But a couple things they found with that is, is wool scattered all over your farms and not able to be sold to the wool manufacturers to make garments. Last thing is the other hip to shear out. Make about three or four long strokes right here. And when I get to here, I'm gonna roll my hand piece around that Achilles tendon. We have sheared the sheep. And this is what a fresh shaved sheep will look like.